Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So right now we're headed to the hospital. It is 8 a.m. and we're going to first thing this morning get my uh, cardiac MRI and then after that I will be going to see my regular cardiologist and see what he has to say. And then at 3 p.m. or well 2 p.m. today I will be getting ready for my right heart cath. I just gotta make it to the hospital and get checked in for the MRI. So, I'm excited guys. Okay, so we're at the hospital and I just got checked in for MRI and I'm in my lovely hospital giddy up. And so yeah, now we're just waiting to get called back. It's a two hour process, so wish me luck. Okay, so I was unable to record anything for the from the MRI, obviously, because you know it's a big magnet. But basically what happened was, is I got called back and first thing they did was hook me up to an IV and gave me some fluids. And then I got taken back to the MRI room where it was just, you know, an MRI, basic. <laughs> uh, so I laid down on the little bed that they had to put me into the MRI and then they hooked me up to more fluids until it was time for the dye or whatever. Um, but what, it's hard to explain, but I laid down on the bed and they hooked a blood pressure cuff to my ankle and then they put this uh, bungee cord looking thing across my belly and I guess it was a, an, attached on either side of the bed and I guess it measured my oxygen. I'm not really sure, they didn't really explain it that well. Um, and then um, my legs were on pillows and my head was on a pillow as well. So I was like in the optimal position for the pictures. And um, after that, they put this little drone looking thing on my chest. Uh, and I guess it was to help take pictures or it was to take pictures. Um, I don't know. I just know it looked like a drone. And um, they strapped it down to my chest. And um, then I went into the machine for like half an hour. Um, and I had to hold my breath. It would tell me, it would make all that big loud noise. And then it would tell me, take a deep breath in, hold it. And so I'd have to hold it for a few seconds and they'd get pictures. And I had to do that a few times for the first half an hour. After that first half hour, the this nurse came in and she put this medicine in my IV. And what it did was it opened all my blood vessels and veins and stuff so all my like I would have better blood flow to my heart so they could see better pic like have better pictures and what that felt like is they put that in my IV and then all of a sudden it felt like I couldn't breathe I could breathe they kept reminding me that yes you can breathe it's just increased blood flow to my heart that makes me think that I can't um so it was like really hard to breathe and I was like really anxious and it gave me like a slight headache and my chest was really tight and I just could not breathe. Well then I had to hold my minute for, or hold my minute. And then I had to hold my breath for a minute, which I couldn't, they told me if I couldn't, obviously it's not gonna happen. So just to let it out and then try and hold my breath again. So I did. And then they brought me back out and then the nurse put something else and my IV to reverse the medication that she put in at first which was like the first one was like caffeine or something or the second one was like caffeine I think she said and it shrunk all my arteries and veins and da 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 all that back to normal and it made me feel better immediately um after that I put back on regular fluids and spent another well when I was on the medication that she had put in, I was in the machine for like 25 minutes to 30 minutes. And then I got brought back out and then they put the reversal in. And then I went back, or got hooked up to more fluids and put back into the machine where I spent another half an hour. And then they pulled me back out of the machine, put a contrast dye in my IV and then put me in yet again. And 
I think it was like a two hour process or something like that. Some, somewhere in there. I just know I got called back at 9.30 and I got out at 11.30 close to noon. But um, then I went out, went back in and doing again all the same breathing things. Once that was done, they pulled me out of the machine and said, oh, you're done. Took all the equipment off of me. And then I said that they told me that I would get my results in a few days and I was on my way. I had to actually beg them though to let me keep my IV from the uh, MRI because I was getting the heart cath later in the, in the day and it would save me from getting poked again. So I had to have sign some paperwork saying, oh, I can keep the IV and this is why I have it. Well, after the MRI, that's when I went to my regular doctor's appointment to see him, and then I went for the heart cath. But that's all that happened for the cardiac MRI. Um, so, yeah, I'm still waiting on results. I haven't gotten anything. I haven't heard anything back. Um, I've only heard back about the heart cath. But once the MRI results are back, I will let you guys know. Thanks for watching and um, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to like this video and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified of every time I post. And yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!